Jeanette Greenwood is the CEO of Ladies in Film and Television, an association that is facilitating a safe space for the industry talent that is often overlooked or underrepresented. Jeanette, welcome to the Biz TV studios. Thank you. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Oh, we're so excited to have you. Walk us through how your organization is really playing an important role in the community beyond just the arts. Well, we've actually, we, we actually just rebranded 2020. We were formerly Headline Mentors in Performing Arts. Um, under that organization, we worked with a lot of at-risk youth. That was one of our biggest platforms, working with at-risk at youth, and we were teaching acting, and, and when we rebranded, now, of course, 2020 hit us with the pandemic. I mean, January is when we actually rebranded, and February they said, go home. Wow. Uh, so, um, so our goal is to get back. Uh, of course, to what we were doing, which is working with the youth. We have uh, youth talk shows now. We actually started that in 2019. And so we want to be able to actually just bring in an environment of entertainment, not just film. We actually do more than that. We'll be here all day to talk about it. <laughs> but just to bring a, an environment of the industry and trying to give people some positive things to do. And those that are underrepresented that um, just don't get the big opportunities out here where we can still make film, have fun, and do a lot of community things as well. Um, from feeding the homeless, going out, we do projects like that, um, back backpack drives for schools and kids that need that support. So it's so many different things that we, we do outside of women making film. I got you. <laughs> no, but it's great because you're you're teaching this generation, the next generation, everyone you're participating with to not only do what they love, but you're also showing them how to use that platform for good. And what I love about that, working in the industry, man, there's a lot of negative media. Yes, it is. We need more positive media. Exactly. And that is our biggest goal is to show the positivity in this where we can stop getting accused of being fake news all the time. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. some good stuff happening out here. There's plenty of bad news. Let's let's focus on the good. When did you first get interested in the arts? Is this something you've always been interested in? or Five years old, and that's uh, when I remember my first show that I ever did was, uh, I was in kindergarten, and um, I had a big role. They, they, it was a song, and I, I don't know how old you are, but it was a song, um, a Christmas, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Okay. And I didn't have teeth, uh, so <laughs> I made the cut. And I was the kid up there that was smiling without the teeth, and I, the lights were flashing, and, and I was singing and performing, and I knew then that this is what I like, because everybody was clapping, and I heard, oh, she's so cute. And I was like, I, I love this. You were addicted at that I point. was addicted at that point That's with no great. teeth. That's great. That's <laughs> awesome. And you're going to sing a rendition of that right now. I'm joking. No! <laughs> <laughs> I got teeth now. It's not cute. <laughs> I'm not going to make you do that. Uh, but along the way, did you have mentors that helped you? Yes, I did. Actually, when I was 14 years old, um, there was an organization similar to mine, and this is where I I got my inspiration. It was Agape, uh, Agape Promotions with Denise Ford and uh, uh, Vincent Price. And they had um, an organization similar to this where we would uh, go sing. They had fashion shows. We actually got a chance, um, and I'm from the hood. You know, I'm from the hood, and we didn't get that exposure. And we got a chance to go to places like the High Regency mm -hmm. and all these big, fancy hotels downtown and perform. And actually, Kirk Franklin um, was in that organization he was like 13 I was 15 okay and that's how I knew him um, uh, met him and we all were part of that organization unfortunately because of lack of funding and things like that and it was a black organization it closed and it left us with nothing to wow. do nothing to do so when I got older I, I thought about that and I was like man I want to bring that back you know and and try to give back to the community give our our youth some things to do and keep them off the streets and give them some positive stuff to do so that's awesome. that was was my influence. That's awesome. Ladiesinfilm.com is your website, ladiesinfilm.com. And I understand you got a big announcement you're making tonight. I'm excited about this. Yes, and you guys are the first to find out about this. We are in plans, and I, I, I was late on turning this some of my paperwork to you guys because we was waiting on 
one big news before I can announce it. Sure. So um, we are planning the biggest, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna Let's speak it. it the We're biggest um, independent awards show right here in Arlington, Texas, um, this year, and it's Independent Filmmaker Awards. It's gonna be worldwide. We have a big uh, platform with over almost five thousand. Texas filmmakers, and we're we're going to be propositioning them to enter into this award show, their projects, and and we're going to have music videos, playwrights, it's not just film, so it's going to be open. So we're hosting the first biggest award show right here in Come Texas on. for independent artists. That's awesome. Yes, it is. That's awesome. How much has the film industry grown in Texas over the last few years? It, you know, it has really grown. And one thing, Kendrick Lamar just did. Uh, a, a film that we, well, it was two years ago, we didn't know he was even here. And he's one of the biggest out here tearing the billboards up and shot right here in Fort Worth. Um, and so a lot of people are sneaking in here filming and doing great things. So the industry for Texas is really, really growing. Austin has always been good. Right. But we're seeing a lot right here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and the Arlington with all that's going on with live and, of course, those fabulous cowboys. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot <laughs> going on. So yeah. I think it's growing for us. That's we awesome. have a lot of opportunity here. A lot of tax breaks in Texas yes. that, that wasn't there exactly. when we were growing up. So right. that's awesome. What advice would you have? Someone watching the show right now, they've always wanted to get into film, they want to get into television. What advice would you give them? My advice would be to get in and do it. Jump in. I went through school and was told um, not to, um, you know, film is not, I'm just being honest, um, people, you might want to go be a teacher because it's not a lot of uh, mm -hmm. black people in this industry that are really making money. And of course, I graduated in the 80s. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be a teacher. So of course, I went and got a marketing degree. I got a, a, my master's degree in education. But that wasn't what Jeanette wanted to do. So I will tell you, do what make you happy, regardless of what people think or say, because it's something that's not see. Be that one person to make that difference. And I feel like now I'm living my best life. I don't have to be in Hollywood. I'm in Texas Come doing on. great things. You get to be in the greatest state and do what you love. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's awesome. We got about 40 seconds left. What's next for Jeanette? Oh, for me. Oh, well, we have I have actually a couple of films um, that I'm, I've I've written. So we're in the process of trying to get those pitched. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get to Netflix or somewhere. Come on. So, yeah. Somebody to, to help us out. So I'm writing. I'm actually okay. writing and we're working on our kids show. So Destiny Squad talk show is the next big thing that's coming. We got some kids that's doing exactly okay. what you do. Listen, if only you knew someone who ran a network uh, based here in Arlington, Texas. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. So. I know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Jeanette Greenwood. What a pleasure. Thank you for the work you're doing, uh, helping people get into our industry, get into film and getting into television and getting into the positive side of media. Stick around. This is Create, Build, and Manage Daily.